I'm Daphne Ware. I'm the director of the Mississippi Public Health Laboratory and our laboratory is the lab that's responsible for providing our state's coronavirus 2019 or COVID-19 testing. Our laboratory is currently performing testing in-house. We receive samples from providers throughout the state. So those samples are actually coming to our laboratory and when our lab receives those samples, we, we do our testing in our molecular diagnostics sections using up-to-date instrumentation that meets the requirements of all of our regulatory agencies for testing. Once we take the sample out from the, the actual container that it came in, we load it on our extraction systems. We have two small systems that can extract eight samples at a time. The extraction normally takes about an hour for those 16 samples or we have a larger version of this automated platform and it can extract 96 samples in about an hour. So these instruments give us a high throughput of sample volume that we can continually extract samples throughout the day as the testing is needed. Once we extract our samples and we're able to obtain the genetic material contained in those samples, we take that genetic material and we perform our test. Our first step in that test though is to insert that genetic material into our reagents and we do that under a cabinet to where we can make sure we add our controls in or add our samples in and so that they maintain the quality required for that testing. Once we add our samples into the reagents, we take that plate that the reagents are in and we load it into one of our thermocycler instrumentation and about two and a half hours after we load the, the reagents on the instrument we have our results. We'll know if the sample is positive or negative for COVID-19. We normally get all of our samples tested within 24 hours of sample receipt and once we have our testing finished we're able to report those results out. We usually can tell if it's positive or negative by looking at our amplification plots. Are these their graphs that come off the instrument and then our staff look at those graphs and that's how they determine if the sample is positive or negative. Right now with our 24 hour turnaround time we have met that with every sample that we're testing and as you can tell from just walking through our lab we have capacity to test many more samples than what our current volume is. So from a state perspective our laboratory is willing and able to provide all the COVID-19 testing that our state requires.